So what we can do is, let's go out of live Boolean mode. We'll go out of edit mode here. We'll hit control N. We'll grab our polymesh 3D, drag this one out. And if we hit W, you can actually go through and cycle through any one of these if you want to take it. If you remember under geometry modify topology, there is still a mesh from brush button. So that might still work. It seems to be grayed out on this particular one. Wait, it's a Q draw mode. There we go. You got to be in draw mode, not transpose mode. Yeah, so you can still go through here and say, I want this one and then hit mesh from brush. Or like I said before, you can hit W and then you can just select one and then it'll just plop it on your screen there. So let's go ahead and dissect this a little bit. I'm going to hit Q, go into polyframe mode here and you're going to see there's a line right down the middle. So if I hold down control shift and we'll grab select rect, I'm going to drag all over all of these then hold down alt and that'll get rid of these ones here. I'm going to go to my display properties here and temporarily I'm going to turn on double so I can see both sides. So I don't usually... I don't know anybody who kind of models inverted like this, but if you wanted to do an inverted mesh that is kind of recessed in another object, um, what you might want to do is first model it like this and then pull this shroud back up over it. So I think that was one of the methods that was kind of explained as we were going through this. What I'm going to do is go ahead and just do delete hidden. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to mask these points. Actually, let's do this. Let's hold on control alt and then that'll unmask just these points. We'll go ahead and use the move brush. We'll pull these back down this way. I'm going to go to my Z modeler brush, which is BZM. I'm going to hover over this edge here and we'll just go to collapse poly loop and we'll just go ahead and collapse those edges down. So you're going to see when I drag this out on my mesh as an insert mesh brush, uh, you can use mesh fusion with this open hole, but since this is going to be like a Boolean, we want to go ahead and make it watertight. I'm going to hover over that edge. and We're going to do close convex hole. Let's go ahead and close that. We can do control shift, control W, make that all one poly group here. So if you go over here to the brush create system, we'll go ahead and do a create insert mesh and we'll do a new one here. And we'll go back to our test cube here. And this one's already set to subtractive. So now if I turn on live Boolean again and I drag this new one out and I turn on polyframe here, you're gonna see what it's doing is, you know, first of all, let's go ahead and turn live Boolean off. It's facing the other way. And I also forgot when I went, went and did that, if I go back down here, I had the display property set to double, it flipped my normal. So let's go ahead and flip that back around. We'll orient this the other way. So when it inserts my mesh, it'll be backwards. So I'm gonna go to brush, create or insert mesh append. And now I can grab this other one here. We don't want and just hit delete that mesh. So now we're just back to one mesh here. We'll go back to our test cube and then live booleans turned on. This is already set to subtract. So when I drag this on and hit W. Now when I drag this one on, if I turn live boolean off, you're gonna see uh, the depth kept this mesh kind of out of there. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this depth and just really embed it in the mesh. When I drag this on, it'll automatically go ahead and insert inside the mesh. Maybe not quite that far. There we go. So now when I go into live Boolean here, you're going to see it's inserting that. But now it's like inserted, but I'm seeing the inside of it again. So we're going to have to modify this thing. And basically all you need to do, you can model it just like this and then take this back polygroup here, mask it, control shift, invert that mask, hit W and just pull it back around your object like this. And now what you can do is go down here to flip. We'll go ahead and capture this again. We're going to go to brush or I'll go over here and we'll go to insert mesh append. Go back up to our test cube. We'll undo that last one. And now when I drag this one in and go out of hatch marks and hit W, you're going to see it'll, it'll now draw in the mesh with the recessed border. And again, all you got to do is modify that depth when you drag it on. So just keep modifying this depth until it drags out the correct depth here automatically. So let's look at that again. We're going to go back to the Joseph Dress modified one we're doing. And this is the mesh we're getting. So if I turn on polyframe, you're going to see we modeled it normally, but then all we needed to do was drag this over and around it. And now we get the inverted mesh we can put in there. Now, if we go back, BI, insert multi mesh Boolean. And again, we, uh, we hit W and then we choose this one. You're going to see he has the exact same thing, but what he did was he doubled it up so that he, he could uh, insert it on either side and it would just work. So basically what we did is recreate this only we got rid of these and we capped this one. If you wanted to do the doubled up version, let's go ahead and undo back to where it was all flipped. And let's turn on our floor. And you're going to see we're Z forward. So I'm going to hit W and we're going to move this over that center line here. And now I'm going to go to geometry, modify topology, mirror and weld. And we're going to do it in the Z. And that'll go ahead and double these up. And now if you want to, you can also just bevel this edge loop complete or however you want to do that.